This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning to you from the International Space Station Flight Control Room. We want to welcome you to today's ISS update. It is a, a busy day for the crew of Expedition 32 on board the orbiting complex. The big news of the day is last night's attempt by the Progress 47 uh, cargo craft to redock with the International Space Station was aborted. Uh, if you watched our live coverage, you saw that uh, in the uh, early uh, part of that uh, re-rendezvous with the International Space Station, uh, that cargo craft did uh, have what's called a passive abort, where it uh, called off the approach itself. It was automatically aborted at about 7.22 p.m. Central Time. At that point in time, the cargo craft was about 99 to 100 miles away from the space station itself. Uh, since that time, the Russian engineers have begun taking a look at that to find out exactly what the cause of that uh, is. This is not the first time that one of these cargo crafts have uh, called off their abort. That is part of the safety system on board uh, as they draw near to the International Space Station. Uh, but the team here in Houston did verify that the progress was on a safe trajectory uh, away from the International Space Station. It passed down below it uh, at enough of a distance to uh, not cause any sort of concern from the uh, Houston team or the Russian team. They also took a close look at the proximity of this progress to the Japanese HTV-3 cargo craft that uh, launched uh, last week and is on its way up to the International Space Station, but HTV-3 is currently at a lower altitude uh, than the Progress 47 uh, and the space station itself, so there's no concern there either. About two orbits, or about uh, three hours roughly after the abort, the uh, mission control team in Moscow uh, activated that uh, Coors NA system, which is a, a brand new system on board that Progress to uh, check it out. Uh, they're taking a look at the results of that uh, as we speak now. They have uplinked a uh, plan to the Progress for it to perform a couple of different burns tonight to slow down what's called the phasing rate, basically how fast the uh, Progress itself is closing in on the orbiting complex once again. Uh, so those burns will slow that down a bit while they take a look at it. And then the preliminary plan, if all goes well, is for the progress to reattempt its rendezvous coming up uh, at some point this weekend. But the mission management team here in Houston, along with our Russian counterparts uh, over in Moscow, will take a look at that, uh, have some talks uh, later on today, and we'll make a decision uh, in the coming uh, day or so about the exact target for that progress to retry. Uh, its approach to the International Space Station. Now, this progress has already been buttoned up. It had its hatches closed as the crew got ready for the actual undocking this past weekend. Uh, there are no plans for the progress to be reopened should it re-rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station once again. So all in all, the role of this progress is complete. So if something were to happen, that the uh, progress could not redock with the International Space Station, that really does not present uh, any sort of issue uh, for the crew of Expedition 32 or the International Space Station since that progress is basically finished uh, with its time aboard the International Space Station. This also, as of right now, really does not have any sort of effect on the launch of the next progress, which would be the Progress 48, since those two vehicles do not share uh, the same Coors rendezvous uh, and approach system on board. Of course, for the latest on this, uh, we'll have updates for you here on ISS Update throughout the week, but we also invite you to log on to the NASA website at www.nasa.gov slash station, and of course, we'll have the latest there. Other than that, the crew is uh, getting back on a normal schedule today. They had a shifted sleep period uh, yesterday and today, getting ready for all of this progress uh, activity. You see the entire crew there with Aki Hoshide on the far left-hand side, Yuri Malenchenko, uh, second from the left, Sonny Williams there in the middle, along with Joe Acaba, Gennady Padalka there, second from the right, and Sergey Revin there on the far right of that photo. Acaba is working on medical experiments today and some sample processing. He is uh, analyzing some water on board from the water processing assembly, which helps recycle the water on board the station itself. He's using what we call the TOCA. This is the Total Organic Carbon Analyzer, which basically just samples the water, makes sure that there's nothing uh, unexpected in there and that it's okay for the crew to use. So he is doing that. He's also gathering equipment for the centerline berthing camera system, which will be installed coming up uh, in about two days. He's also performing an air sampling session with what's called the air quality monitor. This is basically just a sniffer uh, that takes a look at the air on board and much like that uh, water analyzer, just make sure that it's okay uh, for the crew to use. He's also relocating some hardware inside one of the express drawers on board. 
Sonny Williams is uh, working on setting up a computer, getting ready for the capture of the Japanese HTV vehicle coming up later on today. You see the uh, depiction of what that's going to look like here. She's going to be sort of serving as a backup to Joe Akaba and Aki Hoshide. Akaba is going to be doing the first part of that capture, reaching out and grabbing on to HTV, and then Aki Hoshide will take over and bring it on in and install it on the bottom side of the Harmony node. Hoshide himself is setting up and attaching a portable fan assembly and some uh, ventilation ducts inside the Japanese Kibo laboratory. And he's also taking care of some other uh, experiment work on board as well. Coming up on Friday, as we mentioned HTV to you, the grapple of HTV is still scheduled for 7.04 a.m. Central Time, Friday morning. That's 8.04 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, we'll have live coverage of all of that uh, here on NASA Television. The actual berthing and installation operations will begin around 9.45 a.m. Central Time on Friday morning with the actual uh, final installation of the HTV-3 on the Harmony node uh, scheduled for about 10.35 a.m. Central Time. And of course, that all depends on uh, how fast the crew works. But all of that coming up on Friday. And once again, we'll have live coverage here on NASA Television.